Hello everybody and welcome back to Dragon Age. We are playing the Magi Origin and are here in the Circle Tower with our mage Iduna. And we are supposed to speak to uh, Irving. And it says we should not keep the first enchanter waiting, but obviously I do want to explore this place a little bit. I mean we have been here um, as Skadi Kusland, but it was not in a good state <laughs> at that point and we returned for a short time during the witch hunt DLC but it's something different when you actually you know live here and she really is pretty isn't she I, I really like how she turned out anyway um yeah let's look around a bit and see what we can find lots of mages obviously of and <laughs> stuff to loot I'm terrible at spells. You're lucky you're so talented. <laughs> well, thank you. Um, apparently I can't talk to everyone. This tower is too cold. <laughs> yeah, this looks like a place that is very hard to heat. I mean, <laughs> those huge and high rooms. <laughs> Lurium dust. Congratulations on your test. Thank you. Um, yeah, let's have a look. Be done. Right, basement, apprentice dorm, apprentice dorm, second floor, classrooms. Um, well let's check this place first. Okay, this is the the entry. Rigo hasn't said anything yet. And shh, we're on duty. Yeah, there's no one here. <laughs> Someone's always watching. I swear, it's like the walls have eyes. Hey, did you hear about that apprentice they're going to send for? Shh! What does this mean, no one's here? Am I no one? <laughs> At least you get to walk around. I'm stuck guarding this door for another three <laughs> hours. <laughs> well, I'm sorry for you. Yes, is there something you need? Um... <laughs> uh, what's out there? Ferelden, it's not very interesting. Mostly farms, the occasional river. Um, is this the only way out of the tower? The only safe one, as far as I know. There are windows on the higher levels, but surely you don't need me to warn you <laughs> of the dangers of leaping from them. It never ends well. Uh, can I leave the tower? No, you may not. I'm surprised <laughs> you ask. I would have thought you'd be used to this idea by now. Well, um... Why can't I leave? I, I'm just I'm just going to ask the obvious anyway. <laughs> Only mages on official circle business are allowed to leave the tower, and the first enchanter has not informed us of any mages leaving the tower today. <laughs> That's a big door. Yes, it is. Do you need something, or are you just here to state <laughs> the obvious? Uh, no, have the a same nice to day. You. So, I need to be on official circle business, eh? All right, I'll just pick up your lurium and continue to look around in the tower. Um, this is just the same dorm I came from, right? Did you hear? Hear what? I heard they suspect someone of dabbling in blood magic. Why would anyone do something so stupid? That's a death sentence. That's what I hear, anyway. They... <laughs> they might be talking about Joan, um, but we don't know that, obviously. I wish I could leave the tower once in a while. Yeah... It's a bit dark in here. I would like to see the sun and stuff like that. I heard that Cullen's in love with you. <laughs> you don't say. I heard Humbert volunteered to take the right of tranquility. How awful! I wish I could leave the <laughs> tower once in a while. So you can volunteer to tra take the right of tranquility? Alright. Um, yeah, I'm going it to loot this as done. well. Ooh, a staff. Do I already have a staff? Nope. Let me take this staff then. Now I feel like an actual mage. 
Uh, and some blurring as well. Um, right, let's just continue looking around. Uh, this is the same place again. <laughs> I'm always doing that. Uh, cabinet. Hmm. Sure, why not? I also really like the green rope on her. It it fits uh, her red red hair. Complementary colors and such. Oh, <laughs> we can actually go down here. Somehow expected this to be locked. <laughs> All right. Um, I'm not sure if I'm supposed to be here. Okay, now now the door's <laughs> locked. <laughs> All right, and let's let's go back. Mm. Another shell. Yes. Uh, oh yes, Control a library. The fire with your will. Keep the flames steady. We don't want it sputtering and leaping about. That's what causes most of the injuries. <laughs> injuries? Oh! But, but... But... Steady. It reacts to your emotions. <laughs> if you panic, it will... No, no, no. Breathe. <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> uh, you know, in my experience, Flint and Tinder works just as well. <laughs> Maybe we should start with that. Those are some dangerous spells you're using here. <laughs> Can you tell where I burned off my hair? Is it very obvious? <laughs> uh, let me check. Nope. No, you're fine. I hope you've spoken to the first enchanter. He seems eager to see you. Ah, he can wait another few minutes, I'm sure. We're all really happy for you. <laughs> oh, thank you. Do any of you remember what the Chantry says about magic? Magic must serve man and not rule over him. Very good. And what do you think that means? Can anyone tell me? Only boys can do magic. <laughs> hey! No, that's not what it means. It means that magic should be used to help people, but we can't use our magic to... to force people to do what we want. That's right. We should not abuse the gift the Maker has given us. All right. I heard your harrowing went well. That's wonderful to hear. Have you ever seen an abom <laughs> an abomination? <laughs> yeah, that's that's a difficult word. I, I needed some time to practice that as well. Being in the tower is much better than being on the farm. Well, I guess so. I like ponies. <laughs> All right, <laughs> thank you for that input. Concentrate. Hold the shield. <laughs> Whoa. If I had put all my power behind that spell, you would have been obliterated. I am not your enemy. Fear is your enemy. It is a weakness that can be exploited. Should you face a demon with your will wavering so, it would consume you. Is that what you want? <laughs> no. Then stand <laughs> firm and know you can resist whatever I throw at you. Again. <laughs> is this really a good idea to use fire spells indoors in a library no less with all those flammable books around <laughs> that seems very very unsafe <laughs> okay i can't talk to these guys it's funny to see them practice around here though to go for my harrowing i heard that cullen's in love uh, with you apparently everybody knows about that except me <laughs> interesting Uh, what do you got to say? Congratulations on your okay. test. So I think they're just. Did you hear the rumor about someone being a blood mage? Yeah, I I did hear it. I did hear it. Um, second floor. Uh, uh have I been to the classrooms? Uh, how do I how do I go there anyway? Um. Hang on a second. I see something. Or is it just over here? Oh, I see a book. Let's pick up the book. Oh, 
Okay, so these are the classrooms, right, I understand. Okay. Then, um, I guess we can go to the second floor. Uh, that's probably the Irving is anyway, because I don't see any quest marker on here. It's safe. Oh, it's the Tranquil. Welcome to the Circle Stockroom of Magical Items. My name is Owain. How may I assist you? Um... What is a stockroom for? The stockroom stores components used in magical and alchemical experiments. Do you require something? Are you really a tranquil mate? Yes, I think he is, but let's ask it anyway. I voluntarily submitted to the rite of tranquility. I was unwilling to undergo the harrowing. I find this state agreeable. <laughs> you actually like being this way? I see the world with clarity. I remember the days when my mind was filled <laughs> with inconvenient and seething emotions. Now things are simple. What was becoming tranquil like? It is difficult to describe. I would perhaps compare it to being plunged into a pool of ice-cold water. <laughs> uh, what happened during the Rite of Tranquility? I was ordered to never speak of it. <laughs> I cannot go against the Circle's wishes. And now you are no longer a person. That seems pretty rude, so uh, I should go. Very well. Goodbye. Um, oh, even more tranquil. Is there something you need? You must speak to Owain. If you want something from the stockroom, <laughs> you must speak to Owain. I don't think I need anything from the stockroom, so let's continue. Good day. Good day to you too. Ah, oh, this place is huge. Oh, uh, hello. I don't believe we've met. Are you new to the circle? Um... <laughs> I'm a newly herald mage, but I've lived here all my life. <laughs> I'm sorry. There are so many of you and I get <laughs> confused. Not to mention these old eyes are starting to go. Uh, everyone makes mistakes. You're too kind. I'm old and about to fall apart. Nothing in the world can fix that. Hmm. I don't know. Can can magic fix it? <laughs> oh, if you say so. Anyway, uh, did you need something? I just wanted to talk. I'm not good at talking. <laughs> too much chatter makes my head throb. Don't you have lessons to get to? Shoo! <laughs> All right. All right, I'm, I'm going. I'm leaving. Um. Oh, the look at all those bookcases. Before it came to that, will they? They haven't done anything, and I've heard that the Equitarians are starting to soften a little on the Libertarian position. Sympathy for the position isn't the same as support. Yet. As far as I know, most Equitarians prefer to remain allied with the Loyalists. <laughs> you can see why, don't you? Just think of what the Chantry would do if suddenly the Circles were petitioning for more independence or even a split. Won't well, be pretty. Ah, the short-sighted Libertarians. They'll get their way and take us all down with them. Yeah, I remember reading about those different... Um, I think someone's here to speak to you, Senior Torren. Those different uh, factions within the As circle. You say. I don't remember all of them, but Very there were well. several. <laughs> um, history of the circle. Senior Tender Torren. Niall. Um, that rings a bell, I think. I think that's the guy we met in the Fade. I really should go and rewatch my old episodes from, from the Circle Tower. Hello. Congratulations on your harrowing last night. Good work. Right, the Fraternities. That's what they were called. Um... Tell me about the Fraternities. Uh, oh, they're found in all Circles throughout Fedas. 
Groups of enchanters who hold similar viewpoints, who band together to make their voices heard. The most influential fraternity are the Equitarians. They are moderates and believe in a code of conduct that all mages should adhere to. Then there are the Chantry apologists, the loyalists. The Chantry says something and they follow it to the letter. The Lucrosians just want <laughs> to make money. And the isolationists would like us all to be hermits and live on an island. Then of course there are the Libertarians. They want more power for the circle, more autonomy. Um, which do you belong to? Huh. Well, if I had to, I'd say I was an Equitarian. But I ducked out of the fray a long time ago. Most of the senior enchanters are Equitarians. Irving, Wynne, Sweeney. Ulrid's a Libertarian, <laughs> and a loud one at that. Ah, uh, mages have enough opposition from the outside without tearing our circles apart with infighting. But what can you do? Giving up doesn't help anyone. An idealist, I see. <laughs> well, if you're going to change the world, you should get started immediately. Lots of world to cover. The Fraternity of Enchanters, right. Hello, were you looking for something? Yeah, that's totally the guy that we met in the Fade. Uh, during during the Circle quest in Origins. Um, who are you? I'm Njal, a mage just like you. I've seen you around, haven't I? I must have. Uh, what were you talking to that other mage about? Oh, the Fraternities. Groups of mages with a common agenda. <sighs> I think we should all be isolationists. <laughs> Stay in some remote mountain town far away from the mundanes who hate us. <laughs> Why don't you go off then? I'd go hide alone in the wilds if I could. But you know they just brand me an apostate and hunt me down. Mm. There is no leaving the circle. It's till death do us part. <laughs> Romantic, isn't it? Well, I'm assuming she knows what an apostate is, so yeah, <laughs> I can't stay to chat. All right, have a good day. I mean, obviously, if you are new to the game, then it makes sense to ask these questions, but um, I think I, I, I don't have to do that. Um, yeah, I'm going to pick up all the codex entries. What? A section of books appears to be missing. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> um, I'm going to pick up all the codex entries, but. I should have read all of them on my normal playthrough anyway. <laughs> hey there! Do you need something? If not, step back. You're in my light. <laughs> Your light? I'm trying to study. Have some consideration for a fellow mage. You're well spoken for an elf. What does that mean? Are you saying <laughs> elves cannot no, be educated, that we lack the capacity to learn? Well, if you haven't realized by now, elves and humans are equal in the circle. Hmm, I suppose it isn't entirely your fault. With so many elves living in alienages apart from humans, it's difficult for you to get a true idea of who we are. Ironically, many of us don't know who we are either. What do you mean? Elves have lived under human rule for so long that much of our history and culture has been lost. As a mage, I have an opportunity to prove myself. I'm sure you'll succeed. Thank you. But I should get back to my books. <laughs> Goodbye, then. Good day. Yeah, uh, that was a stupid thing to ask. <laughs> uh, I already uh, spoke to that guy. I spoke to these guys. Um, and I already spoke to the guys in the stock room. So let's have a look at yes, this place. Oh, um, I'll take it. Oh, <laughs> excuse me, I didn't hear you come in. I'm sorry, I'm terribly busy right now. I have to prepare the room before the Grey Warden is done at his meeting with Irving. Oh. There's a Grey Warden here. Yes, Duncan his name <laughs> is. 
He must be here to talk to Irving about something important. You know, I almost became a Grey Warden once. Really? There were several of us chosen, though the Grey Wardens only wanted one recruit. Uh, they only ever have one mage, you see. I think they thought I was the best candidate, but I was young and foolish, <laughs> and I said I wasn't interested. They picked someone else instead, and that was that. I've regretted it ever since. Oh, well, I should get back to my work. <laughs> All right. Do your work. Um, yeah, let's have a look in this room as well. It will be done. Lurium. More Lurium. And more mages. <laughs> ah, there you are. You are to be moved out of the apprentice's dormitory, and these are to be your new quarters. The Tranquil will move your belongings this afternoon. Go on, make yourself comfortable. Mm, well, it's not bad, but, you know, having a door would be nice. <laughs> this isn't really your own quarters. Oh well. Just barely separated from the others. I heard that you completed the harrowing in record time. Hmm. Hmm. I never thought you'd survive the harrowing. <laughs> you got lucky, didn't you? I don't know. I don't know how, how harrowings usually are. If they are longer or more difficult. How am I supposed to know that? Oh, hey! <laughs> um, uh, I have some bad news for you. <laughs> I've seen the future and it doesn't look so good for you. Um, but I mean, then again, he did survive, unlike most of the others, so I guess I have some good news and some bad news for you. <laughs> oh, um, uh, hello. I, uh, I'm glad to see your harrowing went <laughs> smoothly. <laughs> uh, hello, Cullen. Th they picked me as the Templar to strike the killing blow if, if you became an abomination. It's nothing personal, <laughs> I swear. I, uh, I, I'm just glad you're all right, you know? Well, I think I can see where the rumors come from. So, um, would you really have struck me down? I would have felt terrible about it. But, um, but I served the Chantry and the Maker, and I will do as I am commanded. All right. <laughs> well, um, didn't I say I might make her more sultry, so maybe we could go elsewhere and continue our discussion. Uh, elsewhere? <laughs> what, what do you mean? Um, yeah, we should get to know each other. Oh, mm -hmm. my goodness. I, <laughs> if you're saying what I think, well, that would, no, that would be really inappropriate, and <laughs> ooh, I couldn't. I, I should go. <laughs> Uh, he ran away. <laughs> That's hilarious. <laughs> uh, was it all a lie what Anders told us about why mages wear robes? I am disappointed. No, no casual romance for mages apparently. Oh dear. Well, I suppose it, it would be kind of inappropriate. So let's just pick up all the lurium we find and try to find Irving because we haven't seen anything of him Did yet. Did you see that Grey Warden? I hear he's trying to recruit a mage for his order. Uh, I heard about him. I heard about him. Uh, maybe let's have a quick save. Um, Alright, so Irving is over here. Mm, but of I want course. to I want to check out all of the other rooms. Ah, it's great to see you. It's always sad when an apprentice fails the harrowing. Mm-hmm. All right, I take this stuff. I'd avoid Leora if I were you. She's been rather testy lately. Why? Who knows? I'm not going to ask her why she's irritable. Women hate those kind of questions. <laughs> okay. 
Oh, it's... It's you. You're not going to keep the first enchanter waiting, are you? Um, just a little bit longer. I'm almost, I'm almost there. Ah, this is infuriating. Another batch destroyed. Say, have you seen Owain? Is he in the stockroom? Um... Yes, I just spoke to him. Oh, excellent. He wasn't there last I looked. I hope he still has some cinnabar lying around. When I asked last week, he said he was running out. Alright. Well, that was a pointless conversation. <laughs> but I hope you find what you're looking for. <laughs> um... Yeah... Uh, have I been... At this place. Uh, let me let me quickly check that out before I go to Irving. Okay, I have been here. Yeah, so I think I pretty much went all the way around. Okay. And yeah, I, I just been here as well. This place is far too big. Uh, but I have not been in here. Okay. The right of annulment. The founding of the Chantry. Kaylee. Blessed art thou who exists in the sight of the Maker. <laughs> what are you doing? I think she's praying. Blessed are the penitents who seek his return. Blessed is the prophetess, purified by flame. May the chant reach the Maker's ears and tell him of our contrition. So let it be. Oh, I, I didn't <laughs> see you there. I recite the Maker's blessings every day. It brings me peace in troubled times. Are you in trouble? No, no, not really. It's just... A I don't want to bore you with this. I'm sure it isn't boring. It gives me hope that one day the Maker will hear us. That maybe I'll be forgiven and my curse will be lifted. <laughs> curse? Magic. What else? Oh. <laughs> but... <laughs> Magic isn't a curse. Magic causes such misery. It's dangerous and vile and wicked. The Chantry must protect the world from us. Being born with something oh, so I'm terrible must be a punishment. I wish I could be rid of it. Oh, I think I remember her. I think we actually met her uh, in the circle when I was there at Skadi Kufla, and then she was very hysterical. <laughs> um, I somehow um, thought that you know, she was just like that because of the events, but apparently uh, she already was uh, self-loathing before all that. Um, you could also be made tranquil. I'm not going to suggest that to her. That is awful. Yeah, you could use your abilities to help people. That doesn't take magic. If I could, I would dedicate my life to the Chantry, but they would never take me in. Perhaps this is just something I will have to suffer through. I should hmm. go. My mentor only allows a few minutes each day for religious contemplation. Oh dear. Yeah, I'm pretty sure she was there when we first uh, came to the circle. Uh, I feel sorry for her. Andraste. I heard about your harrowing. Congratulations. Andraste must have smiled upon you. <laughs> And yeah, let's pick up the books. The Maker and the Blight. So... Yeah, this seems to be the final room. Apparently I can't go to the third Move floor. Along now. So yeah, let's go and talk to Irving. And yeah, I already see Duncan there. Interesting. Many have already gone to Ostagar. Wynne, Aldred, and most of the senior mages. <coughs> We've committed enough of our own to this war effort. Your own? <laughs> Since when have you felt such kinship with the mages, Gregor? 
Or are you afraid to let the mages out from under <laughs> Chantry supervision, where they can actually use their maker-given powers? How dare you suggest? Gentlemen, please. Irving, someone is here to see you. You sent for me? Ah, if it isn't our new sister in the circle. Come, child. This is... Yes, this is <laughs> she. Well, Irving, you're obviously busy. We will discuss this later. Of course. Well, then, uh, where was I? Oh, yes, this is Duncan of the Grey Wardens. Yeah, pleased to meet you. You've heard about the war brewing to the south, I expect. Duncan is recruiting mages to join the King's army at Ostagar. Um... Why? Mages are uniquely equipped to combat Darkspawn. <laughs> what do you mean? The power you mages wield is an asset to any army. Your spells are very effective against large <laughs> groups of mindless Darkspawn. I fear if we don't drive them back, we may see another blight. Duncan, you worry, the poor girl, with talk of <laughs> blights and darkspawn. This is a happy day for her. We live in troubled times, my friend. We should seize moments of levity, especially in troubled times. The harrowing is behind you. Your phylactery was sent to Denerim. You are officially a mage within the circle of Magi. Um, yeah, I know what a phylactery is, and I suppose she does as well. Um, thank you, First Enchanter. I'm sorry, what is this phylactery? <laughs> Blood is taken <laughs> from all apprentices when they first come to the tower, and is preserved in special vials. So they can be hunted if they turn apostate. We have few choices. The gift of magic is looked upon with suspicion and fear. We must prove we are strong enough to handle our power responsibly. You have done this. I present you with your robes, your staff, and a ring bearing the circle's insignia. Wear them proudly, for you have earned them. Apparently the game considered it to be very important to tell me what a phylactery is because when I didn't ask they just made Duncan ask it. That was kind of funny. Um, well, thank you. It goes without saying that you shall not discuss the harrowing with those who have not undergone the right. Now then, take your time to rest or study in the library. The day is yours. Um, I will do that. I will return to my quarters. Would you be so kind as to escort Duncan back to his room, child? It would be my pleasure. The guest quarters are on the east side of this floor, close to the library. Now, if you'll both excuse me, I have matters to discuss with Gregor. Alright, so um, we're here and we are now supposed to escort Duncan to his quarters. But before I'm going to do this, I will end the episode here. And yeah, this is, this is very interesting. Lots of familiar faces. <laughs> and uh, I'm curious to see what happens in the next episode. I I guess it's not going to be so easy. Duncan just, you know, will uh, recruit me and we're going to leave the tower. I'm sure something else, something else will come up. So yeah, see you again in the next episode.